We've got mail. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As I said, we've got mail today and this package is coming from Born and Raised. It's actually a collab that they just did and if you're familiar with Born and Raised then you probably already know what it is. They did a collab with the Los Angeles Dodgers. They made a couple of shirts, some hoodies, and a hat. And if you haven't already known from watching my hauls and just my videos, I love hats. So I picked this up from them. I'm pretty sure that this hat was $59.99 if I'm remembering correctly. And here is the hat. So you have the LA and then behind that embroidered it says born and raised in their like traditional born with the X back there, raised. I really like born and raised hats. Um, I have two of them and that's unfortunately what this video is about. So I am currently in the process of growing out my shaved sides. Don't flame me. I know I look rough, but the process of shaving down my sides, growing them back out, and doing all of that with my hair has caused my hats to all fit differently. I'm normally a size 7 and 1 eighths, and unfortunately I bought my last born and raised hat in a 7 and 1 fourth because the 7 and 1 eighth was starting to fit extremely tight and leaving a mark on my head. <sighs> so. What I did was the last time Born and Raised came out with a collab with the Lakers. It's the same kind of design going on as you can see. I bought this hat in a seven and one fourth. And this hat, when I got it, fit very, very big. I could fit probably two fingers underneath the brim, between the brim and my head. So what did I do? I, like anyone else, went on YouTube and started looking up how to shrink your hat because these hats were limited and I know that they're not going to come out again so I was like you know what I have to find a way to make this work so what I did was I started um, shrinking it using a spray bottle and a blow dryer being very careful not to harm the hat and this hat actually fits much much better than when I bought it so like I said when I bought it I could fit two fingers under the brim I cannot fit even one finger under the brim now the sides are still a bit wide so I'm gonna have to go in with the spray bottle again which is the process that I'm actually gonna be showing you guys today in case you at home have any hats that are too big and you need to shrink them so just for comparison purposes you just saw how this hat fit me after shrinking it a little bit I'm gonna show you this hat and you guys can see just how big it is like you see all that space under the side it's like two fingers in there let's try bending it a little bit because I don't wear my brims super flat so give it a little bit of a curve yeah and now you see I can fit two fingers underneath my hat which is not good it makes it look like you're wearing your dad's hat so I'm gonna roll right into showing you guys the process of how I shrink this hat so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is take your hat and try to hold it by the brim so the whole process just try to hold your hat like this because you want to keep the brim dry and away from the heat that we're gonna be applying to the hat so you're just gonna spray liberally don't soak it but a liberal amount of water onto the hat try to aim basically at one two three four these four panels so like I said a liberal amount of water being sure to stay away from the brim and I got this spray bottle just from Dwayne Reed I believe it was like $2.99 you can get one from anywhere Dwayne Reed CVS right then you're gonna grab your blow dryer and I apologize for how loud this is going to be. I'll just mute it and put some music. You're going to go over the whole area that you just sprayed with the blow dryer. So these four panels again with the blow dryer on the highest setting. I 
as you can see i'm focusing on these two side panels one and two that are closest to around your ears because that's where the hat is still a little bit loose the back of the cap and the front fit snug now that i've shrank this hat about twice so this is a process and i want to do it back to back i would attempt to shrink it give it a day to completely dry up um you know find its shape again and then the next day you can try to shrink it again it's been two days since i last did this process on this hat so i'm going to continue to focus on those areas and dry the rest of the hat and again, continue to hold the hat by the brim. You want to keep the heat away from the brim. I think you guys get the point by now. You are going to spray the hat, blow dry it, Give it a day to rest, spray the hat, blow dry it until it gives you a nice snug fit. If this hat was to not shrink anymore in the sides, I would be okay because it does fit pretty all right now that it's been shrunk. Definitely way better before the shrinking process. So that is how I shrink my hat, guys. That's just a little video I wanted to come and bring to you today because I know a lot of brands are coming out with some limited editions, really cool hats, and you might fuck around and just not order your correct size. In the process of shrinking between sprays and heat, you can put the hat on your head just so that it can form a little bit around your head. I did that a couple of times the first and second time that I shrank this one. And as you can see, it just looks a lot better and a lot more relaxed than the out of the box hat. So like this one's real rigid. It looks brand new and this one is a lot softer around the edges and just looks a lot better. The shrinking process has not harmed the hat in any way. You guys can see it is still a true black. There's no flyaways. It hasn't damaged the material at all, nothing. It just simply shrank it in the areas that I needed it. And so that is it guys. I hope you guys are enjoying these video everyday type segments from me visiting different places to more nuanced things like how to shrink your hat to unboxings that will be coming in the future. I also want to do some back to school videos. I kind of want to switch it up because everybody's doing the same thing. But I will have that content coming to you guys as well. So until <laughs> I was ready to say until next week. But until tomorrow guys I'll see you here same time same place. Bye.